According to the American Cancer Society, about one in eight women in the United States will develop invasive breast cancer during their lifetime, which is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in women exceeded only by lung cancer. At Desert Comprehensive Cancer Center in Palm Springs, we spoke to Dr. Marla Lander, who gives us some of the history of breast cancer. The first mention of breast cancer in history is about 3000 BC. And then from the time of Hippocrates through the mid 20th century, breast cancer was thought to be incurable. And the reason for that is that it only came to medical attention when it was palpable, when a woman could feel a mass or her partner could feel her mass. So when a breast cancer is large enough to feel it, it's considered advanced cancer. And advanced cancer is associated with the ability to disseminate throughout the body. So advanced cancers are associated with death. And up until mid-1950, 55, breast cancer was thought to be incurable. But all that changed with the advent of film screen mammography in the 1970s. And all of a sudden, we can find breast cancers before they're palpable in what we call the preclinical phase. And at that point, you can cure breast cancer with only a minimal amount of treatment. Results of trials in the 1970s investigating mammography became the foundation for all screening programs. There were roughly eight trials. Seven of the eight showed definite benefit with incorporating mammography into decreasing breast cancer deaths or decreasing breast cancer mortality. The Swedish study has shown that it can decrease breast cancer mortality by approximately 43 percent for women who come on a regular basis. Dr. Lander emphasizes the importance of early detection. Breast cancer is a progressive disease, meaning that it's not born huge, aggressive, it hasn't already spread throughout the body. It mutates and changes as it has time to grow. When you find a breast cancer early, you don't need to treat it as aggressively as you would an apple-sized tumor. So hopefully no chemotherapy, possibility of little to no radiation, and maybe just minimal surgery. There's over 25 different types of breast cancers, and they can present very differently how they appear, how they act, how they might infiltrate tissue or push tissue around. Some of them might be visible only on the mammogram, others on ultrasound, some by MRI and some by a combination. So you have this what we call heterogeneity of breast cancers, but in addition to that, not every woman's normal breast looks the same on imaging either. There's all kinds of different patterns and different densities in the breast. Another obstacle in the way of detection is that sometimes cancers can mimic benign lesions in the breast, such as cysts or benign tumors. Uh, so even though mammography has opened up this world of finding cancers early, it comes with its challenges. Is it a myth that if a close relative had breast cancer, you would get it also? If you have a first degree relative that's had breast cancer, father, mother, and I say father, while breast cancer is rare in males, it does occur. 1% of all breast cancers are diagnosed in males. If you have a sister, a daughter, um, your risk of getting breast cancer doubles. If you have two first degree relatives, your risk goes up by three to 4%. And if you've had a personal history, by the way, your risk is that much higher than the general population. There's much more of a chance that you will get a second cancer than that somebody walking down the street will be diagnosed with their first. If there's no family history of breast cancer, that doesn't mean you don't have to come for a mammogram or that you don't need to be concerned about it because only 15% of breast cancers have a familial association. Dr. Lander examines the most common myth about breast cancer. The biggest myth in breast medicine that I've encountered, I'm actually gonna say there's two. One of them we've touched on and that's that people think because they don't have a family history, they don't have to worry. But for some reason, women think as they get older, they have less of a chance of breast cancer. They're like, I'm too old for breast cancer. And it's exactly the opposite. As you age, that's one of the main risk factors other than being female is getting older. So as you age, it's much more likely that you might be diagnosed with breast cancer, not less likely. So women, keep coming for your mammograms. As you get older, do yourself that favor. Let us find it early when it's a minimal surgery and then you're done, you go on with your life. And hopefully you never get diagnosed.